the computer mini daughter. So this video is about trying to update Waves plugins. Uh, on the left hand side you can see the version 12 plugins I have. Um, here, plugins v12, and you can see I've got Eddie Kramer, JP, JJP, Renaissance Set, um, Words Head Tracker, Z Noise, and uh, Echosphere, and the Ocean, the new plugin, the Ocean uh, Waves. Um, that's all here. These ones, I'm not showing up, I've just updated them to the latest version because I can, <clears throat> and I went from version 11 to version 12, and they're not, uh, they're uh, showing up in the list in Studio One, but I can't drag them in, or at least I drag them in, nothing happens. So let's have a look. I, uh, this is on the website from uh, Waves, and they say, how to find your plugin in Studio One, verify the license is activated, I have in Waves Central, uh, the connected devices, all the rest of that jazz, done all of that. Verify the plugin is correctly installed. Um, go to version 12, so that's here. And as you can see in version 12, they're all sitting here nicely. They got converted from version 11. There's none of them in here. And they're all sitting in here. Um, and then rescan for plugins. So I should go to Studio One, uh, Locations, Plugins tab, and make sure the following parts are listed. Um, for me, the Mac. Library Audio Plugins version VST3, which it is. And I just did the check mark scan at startup, which I did. And I did the reset blacklist, and it said yes. And I clicked OK and restarted Studio One. Nothing. Let me just show you. Let's see if it works. Doubler, one of the ones I updated. Nothing happens. This is the problem. Do all the doublers. Then I can say, um, Eddie Kramer. Eddie Kramer, here we go. Nothing. Bonk. The Echosphere does work because that I had... No, the Echosphere doesn't work either. Great. Ah, oh, yes it does. Just takes a little time. So that's the way it should be. Maybe even a little faster than that would be nice, but anyway, the Echosphere is a new one, so probably my computer is older. The CLA works. That's a previous version, uh, version 11 I have, got that working beforehand. So some of these do work, um, the Abbey Road, not just updated. So some of these do work, but the updated ones, and let me just get rid of these by just dragging them and getting rid of them. And so, and so. So you can see the JJP were also another one that I updated. Drag it in, nix, nada, nudie. So, what I found was the only way to do this the last time, and I'm going to do it now and see whether it does it the same thing, is in Preferences, Locations, VST Plugins, Scan at Startup, I always have it on anyway. I re reset the block list just before and it didn't do anything. The weird thing is that um, I shall just look into my... Plugins in Users, VS3.3, no, it's not in that. It's in the Plugins other folder here. VST3, all my plugins. Down the bottom, Wave Shell. So I have the Wave Shell, I guess, uh, 12.7, modified 31.3, so that's today's date. So that's version 12 and then 0.7. Guess that's the new one. For some reason it does not read it. I'm wondering actually because I see version 12.6 here if that could be taken out. Let's do a little test because I see 9, 10, 11 and there's two 10s as well. But I wonder if it's reading 12.6 and not 12.7. No, I'm going to stick with <coughs> what I was going to do, which is that um, this is Library Audio Plugins VST3. So that's Library Audio Plugins VST3, not the Luke version, but just the normal one. 
So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add it again. Um, I can actually do it by dragging this into here. And it should go straight to it. There you go, VST3, open. Let's come back again, apply, scanner going along. And look at that. Some of these plugins will be updated next time you start Studio One. And that I never got before I do that. So I have to literally get rid of the link, the, the uh, location and add it. Same location I had. And then if I, uh, I don't think it's going to work. I'll just try it now. No. But I'm going to close Studio One down. Yeah, I'll save it. And I'll simply open it up again. Scanner. Hey, there you go. This didn't do it before. So it's just seen it. And there's the wave shell. And you can bet your bottom dollar that now the plugin's going to be seen. Is this the problem that lies with Waves, or is it a problem that lies with Studio One? <coughs> yeah, Waves is the only plugin uh, plugins that I have this problem with, and it's really annoying. So we'll go for Eddie Kramer because we know that that was one that I updated, and voila. How did I know that that was going to happen? Um, doubler. And so quick. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, JJP strings. Funk, go on. Yeah, there you go. So these work now. All the uh, Renaissance compressor that did work originally, so Renaissance base did not work before and that one is now working so they're all working now but there's that weird thing that they do not work uh, even with the information as told by waves um, perhaps waves can update their information here to add that that you have to go to this place and even if it's there you may have to delete it and re-add it simply would help and again I don't know uh, why that happens uh, quite clearly Waves is <coughs> is aware of something about it because they wouldn't have gone this far to write this and Studio One uh, yeah it needs to be sort of retold a total rescan so I don't know where uh, the, uh, the the in Dutch the Knelpunt where the um, the the the, uh, the point is where it's not connecting. Always difficult with two companies with a problem like this. But anyway, I hope that solves anybody else's potential problems with getting Waves to work in Studio One and potentially in any other door that you may have. You may have to just get rid of the link to the plugin. Uh, folder and just add it again, even though it was there before. Thanks for watching.